This Triceratops card is very simple to make and yet looks very effective. And what you'll need to do to start off with is print out the two sheets. We've got the base sheet and the second sheet, which has got the pop-up mechanism here. So what I'm going to do now is just go and cut this out and then we'll look at the simple fold lines. So it is a very quick and easy card to make and looks spectacular. And just to note, I've printed the cover on, as per usual, onto the side, uh, front side of this, which is the base card. I've cut the elements out here, so the next thing to do is put in the score lines. It's very simple because we've just got three. You'll notice if you have a look, there's a very faint line on each the side and one running down the centre. So what I'm going to do is line up with that. You'll notice it just goes over the jaw slightly. Don't bother with taking it to there, just do it on the side here because that's all we're going to fold. And then on the right hand side again just take it from where it just touches the side of the face and then leaves it doesn't matter if you score that bit but that's not really necessary and then we've got the center part here again just line up and put a full score line through that ready for folding then the next job we've got to do with this is with your craft knife you'll just notice that there's two very faint lines just running down here by the side of the face what I would suggest we do is just cut down through those because we're going to feed some tabs in into there and that'll just cover through there so the next thing to do with the folds now these particular folds are valley folds so I'm just going to pull that towards me there put a nice crease in that the better the crease really the better it all seems to work and again on there just push it back you can see now where that line was coming and then carried on there so it's it wasn't necessary to continue it and then the main line here in the front just squeeze that and put a nice crease in that as well and there we go that's that part I'm just going to put that to one side and bring in the other part here now um, again there are two very faint score lines you'll see them there's two little tabs at the end here they're, there, they're the same color as the dinosaur we just need to score those two tabs and then fold those in there and there now we need to fold this in half, now though there isn't actually a score line to do that, you might just find it useful just to help you on your way, just to, to put a line in there and then fold that in half along, it's sort of like a beak on the Triceratops, there we go, and those two parts then match up to there, alrighty-ho, so now if we bring back our first part here, before we stick this onto the card we're just going to mount it onto here now we could fold these flaps back and put them in there but I honestly think it's easier once you to cut it just thread that through on that side open it up thread it through on there you may have to come back and make the cut a little bit longer if it doesn't go through but we just want those to even up and that sits on the front there like so make sure that it closes okay because this whole card has to close in half once it's done that I would turn it over and then put a little bit of sticky on it just to stick it on the inside so whoops one on there and a little bit on there as well just to hold it and again just close the card make sure that push it back there because it's going to stick to itself and that will just hold itself in position there these should actually stick together um, but because the card moves a little bit like that you you could if you want to if they're coming away a little bit just pop a little bit of glue on whoops stuck to my finger pop a little bit of glue onto that but the important thing is it must be able to close and you can see now our tabs are stuck down inside so that's fine so that's done and we're now ready to put it down onto the main card 
Okay, I've got that here. First of all, a good good crease in it, and we're now ready to start thinking about placing the dinosaur down here. And we've got a couple of options here to, to stick him down. But first of all, really, it's very, very simple. It's a case of here he is, and he can drop down there like so and stick there. The idea being that his head will then close up when it goes in. So what I suggest we do is just stick one half first and then the other. And the best way to do this is just to line this up here. Now you'll notice that there's a little line on the paper, a little grey line which you'll see there. So that's if you put line the side up here and then the beak just touching the centre line and making sure that the horns aren't sticking out of your card. So if they are, don't be afraid, we can move this down a little bit for safety as it were and just put that to there. So let me glue this up. It's now got my glue on it. Okay, so I've got a line running through there. There's a little grey line. So I'm going to just gently rest that here. Make sure that the head is in. And we can see that the horn is in and the head is in there. And that the beak isn't going to go over. So you may, if you want to, just hold the card open like that. That makes sure we don't go over the centre line. Line up with the grey line and that's down. I've glued this tab as well, so obviously the next thing to do is just to simply rub that down nice and strong, and then as we open it up, we have our lovely Triceratops. So it's a very simple, quick and easy, and yet most effective card, and children will really love this one. I must confess, the Triceratops is one of my favourite dinosaurs.